Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be on this Marilyn Monroe look. This is the look that I've worked really, really hard on, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, just keep in mind that this is my interpretation of a Marilyn Monroe look that I found when I was searching through pictures of her. And if this is not in any way an exact interpretation of her, this is just what I think of when I think of Marilyn Monroe. I don't have blonde hair, I don't have um, a freckle right here, this is fake, but it was just really fun to do and I hope you guys enjoyed it, I, um, I had a lot of fun. So please keep watching and I'll see you next time, bye. Okay guys, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes. Today I'm going to be using my Too Faced primer. And this is going to ensure, like always, that our eyeshadow won't crease, it'll last all day, and it's going to increase the color pigmentation of the eyeshadows. And this is just going to be good. Alright, so now I'm going to start, my goodness, I'm going to start with the eyeshadow. What I will be using is I'm going to be using the color white from the Bobbi Brown Smoky Palette. And I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. This white is not um, very, very, very pigmented, but it's just going to give the nicest sheen of white across the lid. All right. And then just to add a little bit more color pigmentation or color brightness, I'm going to be using the shade Daylight from this Lancome palette, this one right here, and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the Bobbi Brown. I'm just going to apply this, oh, messed up, I'm going to apply this just all over the lid, and you just want to kind of pat it or pack it on. It's going to look something like this, so just nothing too simple with the eyeshadow. I'm just going to go really light and just pretty and feminine. Now I'm going to be using my, I'm going to start my liquid liner. And I'm going to be using my Sephora liner in the shade No War Black. Looks like this. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a line across the lash line and then I'm going to be flaring it out into two separate wings. This is something that is very bold and very pretty and it's it's um just looks like this because I need to look at my mirror I can't just look at the camera because then I will mess up so and you just wanna if you just wanna have this q-tip so that if you do mess up you just can wipe it right off and the reason I'm having trouble is is because I just can't seem to get it quite right. But I think I just did. There. I finally got it. Okay. So it's going to look like that. Now, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk and I'm going to apply this in the inner corner of my eye like near the tear duct and I'm just going to go like that and then I'm going to just take my finger and I'm going to kind of smudge it just kind of bring it so that it basically connects with um, my eyeliner too. Then I'm going to be taking another NYX Jumbo Pencil and this is in the shade Black Bean. And I'm going to apply this to my waterline. And this is going to be dark and it's going to look very good. And it's going to brighten your eyes like that. Okay, so 
That is it for the eyes, except I need to curl my lashes. I'm just going to curl both. The reason I didn't do my um, lashes on this side is because I want to show you the full routine on both eyes so you can see. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Max Volume Flash Waterproof Mascara. That is not waterproof, but does make your lashes look good. And I'm just going to put this up in like a zigzagged motion like this. From the bottom of the lashes to the top. And I'm going to do the same on both sides. So it's just going to give a light first. And then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Exposure Mascara. And this is going to make them even longer and thicker than they already are. Like that. Okay. And if you get clumping within your lashes, what you can do is you can take just a little applicator like this and do the same thing and just run it through your lashes. And this is just going to separate them because this has no product on it. So it's just going to make it look really nice. So that's what it's going to be. And that's it for the eyes. So I'm going to put my little mirror back so I can, um, I can look again at you guys. And then I'm going to start with the face. So I'm going to pin my hair back because I do not want my hair to get all up in my face. Then I'm going to shake my foundation first. And I'm going to be using CoverGirls in the shade 555 Soft Honey. And I may do a different foundation routine than you, but you can do whatever foundation works for you. Whatever works. I'm just, this is what I do. I take my foundation brush and I just spread this out all over my face like this. And then I take my makeup sponge. And this is when I really just even out my skin tone and make it look good. Like that. And you want to make sure it's not streaky. And then you can take your concealer and you can conceal your under eye backs. And I'm going to be doing that. Or your under eye circles. I use the lightest amount because I really don't like to have that thick amount of um, concealer. And then I just use my concealer brush, or what I use is my concealer brush, and then I'm just going to use my finger. And you can also clear up any blemishes that you have. And then I'm going to set my foundation with my L'Oreal True Match in Natural Ivory. Like that. And then I'm going to take my cream blush. I'm going to be using a Becca cream blush. It looks like this. Now my label fell off, but I remember it said Frangipani on it. I don't know if that's the real name for it. I'm not quite sure, but it's going to look like this. As you can see, I've hit the pan already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks or the cheekbones. And the reason you don't want to smile when you do it is because you're going to put your blush here. And then when you smile, it drops. And you don't want that. Then I just take my fingers and I spread this out. You don't want it very streaky. You can also use a stippling, bl br bl stippling brush. You can use a stippling brush to help you blend it out. 
I'm just gonna use my powder brush to kind of blend it into my skin. And then I'm just gonna apply a powder blush over it. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. blush in the shade Candid Coral. Looks like this. And the reason I'm going to do this is because I just want this to kind of give it not as much of a creamy feeling, but kind of more powdery. Like that. Okay, so now I've done most of my face, but Marilyn Monroe actually has, if you know her, a, um, a beauty mark to the left of her nose or on the left side of her face. And... I'm going to use that, I'm going to do that, just because this, I want this to look so, as much as Marilyn Monroe as I can. And this is like, right, okay. I'm going to apply this on the left side of my face. And I look silly now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear this out, but it's okay. I just want to make this look real because this is Marilyn Monroe. And then I'm just, my, her eyebrows are quite dark and shaped, and mine aren't, and I don't really own an eyebrow pencil, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to darken them up the lightest bit, because I don't want to make it look scary. Like that. Okay, then I'm going to do my lipstick. I'm not going to line my lips. Your lips need to be exfoliated already, and mine are. So I'm going to take my MAC Red Lipstick, and this is in the... I got this back to MAC, and it was written on the bottom. It says satin. I have no idea. Maybe someone can tell me what shade this is. I wish I knew. Okay, and then I'm going to use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is just going to make it a little bit more glossy. Like that. And then you are complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. My hair is a naughty mess. Um, and this is just really fun look. I might be Marilyn Monroe for Halloween. Who knows? But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.